This is a quick clip of how to remove brazing flux. Now I've built a lot of things in the past and have never figured out how to get this stuff off of here. I've used acids and everything and it's kind of a nasty job, but I found a quick, simple, easy solution. We're gonna take a blowtorch and a spray bottle and we're gonna get this off here as quick as possible. It makes a little bit of a mess, but what's gonna happen is the flux after the second heat up is going to turn into a white powder after it's been sprayed then after the it's sprayed from that point it'll start washing off as a dirty water so here we go see a lot of it's already starting to wash off of their big flakes Getting inside the little nooks and crannies is what's taking a while. What I'm doing is I'm getting it wet, and then when I spray it, it turns into a white crusty powder. So I get it wet, turns into a white crusty powder, then you spray that white crusty powder off, but you wanna let that white crusty powder form. So that's what I'm doing is I'm getting it wet. Now it's dry again and it has like this crust to it, this white crust looking compound. And that's what you want to wash off is the white crust. You don't want to reheat that crust to a point that it melts again. Let me explain this to you here. This is the flux in the same state we're putting it. This is hydrated flux. So what we're doing is the flux that's melted, we're gonna spray that. And it's gonna turn into this once we spray that hot flux. Then we take the, the spray bottle and spray it again and wash this away. You don't wanna heat the torch again and heat up the flux, remelting it. We wanna produce this white powder on the part and spray it away. So here we go, I'm gonna turn, get it hot and make some white powder see that I don't know if you could see that splurt out like that that's the white powder we want to make and then we're going to spray it off we let it sit a little bit too long that time that's the white stuff we want to produce and then wash away because basically what we're doing is rehydrating the flux rod or something I'm not exactly sure 100%. So as soon as you see the white powder, stop and then spray it off. Don't let that stuff remelt. That's the key to this trick is learning that aspect. Now, it's not just that, it's not the case in every scenario. There's going to be some cases where you might have to remelt it to flake off a big piece. Okay, I'm gonna crank my nozzle over to a different spray pattern now to an actual jet to 
power out some of these little crusty spots inside. Ooh, that's helping out a lot. Getting them. Got it out of there. Okay, I'm gonna have to get them. And that's pretty much what you get. There's a couple of pieces right there. Sometimes it might be best to kind of chip away what you can, but for the lion's share of it, I use this process every time I braise now. The part comes out looking halfway decent. There's a little speck of it right there left. Like I said, there's I, I do bust out a picking tool. Because you'll be there forever turning that back into its hydrated state. You kind of need to chip off what you can. And for the most part, it works better than, than anything I've tried, though. The acids and all that's just a huge mess. It does work, but uh, this was braised with a map gas torch so I was a little cold there but uh, that's about how the process works you can get it look a little better than that I just had no need to take it any further I just wanted to get the majority of it off that was coating my coil because it will insulate the coil and this thing's going to be exposed to fire so we don't want that the lighting in here is just horrible I don't know of any spot that would let you see but that technique cleans it up pretty good. 99.9%. .9 you still got to do a little picking. And then go back at it one more time sometimes. But pretty sweet deal.